We'll start with a landscape to portrait workflow. You can either run it in your own Comp UI installation or use my RunPort template in the description below, which would give us both a couple of free dollars in credit. To get started, first upload your video here. This can even be a video with cuts to different scenes. Then you could enter a prompt for the outpainted area. In most cases, it's fine to leave this blank, but it can be helpful. Then enter the length of your desired output video in frames here. How high you can go here depends on the available VRAM in your GPU. Then hit run and wait for your video to finish. Now let's open the portrait to landscape workflow and load a video. As you can see, there are some extra notes here, which I will explain in a second. First, let's now enter a duration you want to outpaint in frames and hit run. Now, after the load video process is finished, this note will display true or false. If it turns to true, all is fine and you can let it generate your video. But if it stays on false after the load video process is finished, and this mostly happens to videos taken with the phone, then you should abort your generation and enter the alleged width here as the custom height. And then enter the alleged height here as custom width. Then hit run again and you will get your landscape video. The third workflow is for manual outpainting in whichever direction you like. I won't cover it in this video, but I added a bunch of notes that should help you find your way around it easily. Lastly, some tips that you may find useful. These workflows outpaint 50% in either direction. If you want to manually influence that, you could disconnect these two inputs and then add the values manually. Sometimes you won't quite get what you hoped for if you leave the prompt blank. That's when you should specify what's to be outpainted.